Today I'd like to talk about my hypochondria and it's a bit strange talking about it and some people call it health anxiety. And I've suffered it for many years and happily now I'm not suffering too badly with it. It's under reasonable control but at times it's been extremely tough. Um, I suppose at the root is of it all is anxiety in general and it's just one branch and one factor that has come out of it for me and for many other people. I suppose to give a bit of background and an explanation to it, my parents died while I was in college, both of cancer, and it had a fairly profound impact on me because I was quite young at the time I was in college and for both of them to go very quickly it was within a year of diagnosis for both of them and so afterwards I was imprinted with this fairly horrific view of cancer uh, this all-consuming disease which would run through you and kill you basically and it led to some episodes subsequently later in life where I imagined I had cancer myself and Typically, another aspect which I suppose is particularly for men, I think, out there, and it's, it's pathetic, but I think it is particularly uh, a particular instance for men, is that we have this fear of getting checked out and fear of hospitals and issues like that. And I certainly had that, and still do to an extent. So... And it, through my life, it's been a balance between trying to trying to have vigilance, which we're encouraged to do, and check, you know, get checked out and stuff, and get a, get health checks, and also getting that under control and having a sense of perspective, whereby it's not consuming your life. And sadly, when I look back, there were times when months, six months, twelve months, maybe a year of my life was consumed with a fear of an irrational fear that I was dying. And I can kind of laugh at it now, which is good, uh, but I couldn't then. It was a pretty rough thing to go through. And I suppose it was just the ghost of what I, what I had seen cancer do was haunting me in a way. And so a number of occasions, I mean, my father died of bowel cancer, which is something that I can, I, I'm at risk of. My mother died of ovarian cancer, and there's probably not much risk of me getting that, even no matter how bad I get at hypochondria, I don't think I'll, I'll reach the stage where I'm imagining I'm getting that one. But, so I did get that checked out when I was at a certain stage and the bowel cancer, so, but I was in terror leading up to that test. And there was a number of factors that just the test in general was one, but secondly, just the fear that it would turn out positive, which is a totally rational, fear now i can see that at that that removed but at the time that kind of health anxiety or hypochondria was completely clouding all of my judgment and i was living in a state of paralysis really i was afraid to go for the test i was afraid not to do the test you get caught in a kind of a, a bind like that but i felt i had to do it i'm proud that i did do it and i'm glad that i did it and i came out positive or it, it came out clean clear in the end so, which is a relief but there have been other times since when I have felt that I'm dying and I feel I have felt a certain fragility of life sometimes I do feel it could all just puff out like that and I don't know why why that I have that fragility of feeling about life but it's there and it always is there now to some extent it's a good thing I can turn it into a positive and I can use it to make every day count and at the moment I'm definitely doing that I feel a massive drive to get things done to be creative and to feel proud of what I'm doing but sometimes I can't and it drives me down the other way it's difficult to describe, but I suppose I have a feeling that my life force is a fragile one which could just puff out at any moment. And happily, I don't really feel that as strong now. I still do feel it, but and part of it is a fear that 
I've held myself back of so much that I would like to do and that could be taken away and that is it's a tough one to grapple with it's happily something that I'm not suffering with at the moment but in some ways it's driven me to do preventative medicine and to get myself checked out and happily everything's been okay but when I do feel aches and pains when I do feel pains in my body it's sad to say but my first instinct is death that that is what's happening and it's irrational it's crazy when I think about it now it's difficult for me even to admit that but it's the truth and there can be a certain positive to that in that it will drive me towards ironically towards valuing life even more I think but I wish I didn't have it let me know in the comments if you suffer from health anxiety hypochondria and uh, please subscribe as well because I would love to have your company see you next time